Hey everyone, I'm Marty Baran. We are here for Baran Journal at Casino Night for Garden of Dreams. Lots of fans, lots of people to talk to, but first of all, we have to go to Dan Girardi. For those of you that don't know, Dan did a uh, fan forum at the Beacon Theater the other day, and he stole the show. He was hilarious. So I want to know, Dan, what's your secret to being funny? Well, I have to thank uh, my father, Big Mark Girardi, for that one. <laughs> um, you know, he's a oh. <laughs> Steve Eminger, nice. Um, you know, he's a real funny guy. Even my grandpa, you know, 83 years young, he's still a funny guy, and I just. I have a good, just dry humor, you know, a snark remark here and there. That's how I get the job done. What's your birthday? What day is your birthday? 15. 15. That's mine too, buddy. I'm between 12 and 15. Oh, double zero. That's the Which, worst luck. Okay, worst just luck. so you know, you should have said what used to be your number. I would have said double zero, and it would have been right there. I want to do the ball thing, you know. I want to. Thirty-one black, thirty-one black. So Jeff is a big-time card player. We rule the card table on the plane. We take it to the rookies. I mean, uh, JT and uh, Kreis have been having a hard time at the card table, but you're J a veteran of this. JT Miller and uh, Chris Kreis are probably the worst card players I've ever played with in 14 years of playing professional hockey. Two dumbest card players I've ever been with. <laughs> but they've already funded a gift for my wife, and so we like them. Okay, let's see one hand. Let's see one hand. Give him like $25 to put over here. Uh oh. Oh, King Ten. King Ten. Yes. King Queen. Oh, yeah, you know what? Boiler's over there. I gotta go talk to him about his uh, haircut. And we're here with the one and only Brian Boyle. For those of you who don't recognize him, it's because something has changed. Did you shave? Is that what happened? I did shave. And I got rid of the, uh, the hair. It was slowing me down. Man. Last year, you had the burgundy velvet jacket. It was awesome. What do you have to like really take it to us this year? Yeah, well, I wanted to be a bit more conservative. So I decided maybe just a little pocket square. But the shoes really take it, I think. The shoes, we gotta get some lights. They are they are a special kind of blue velvet. Do you think about this event 12 months in ahead? Like do you think what am I gonna do next year to wild them? Yeah, no, I, I got I got the wheels turning a little bit right now. Yeah. I kinda I look in the magazines, you know, I'm big into that Us Weekly and like some of the fashion magazines to try and keep up with something. I get tips from Hanky, obviously, uh, tips from you, you look and dapper yourself. I, mean, I don't know what it is about our goalies, but geez, are they taking it home this, this year? I have no idea what they're playing. It looks very serious. I think it might be poker. My favorite player, Marion Jibrick, <laughs> over here. We all know you're an unbelievable skater and you have an unbelievable shot. What is the key to being a great poker player? Obviously, you, you have to try to read people and then you have to try to uh, know how to bluff as well. Can I, Henrik, can I get a picture, please? In all seriousness, Garden of Dreams. Yes. You are so involved with it and do so many things. What does an event like this mean to you? Uh, it's fun, first of all. Uh, this is for my eighth event now. Uh, and it's, it's just well organized. You know, it's fun. All the players are here. Um, you know, all the fans. It's exciting. And, and over the years, you, you try to find different ways to raise money for Garden Dreams. You know, you sell your masks or rock concerts or clothing line, whatever it is. It's just, we're in a position where you can use your name for a great thing and raise money for a great cause. The last couple of years, I didn't step up to the plate, like, you know, fashion-wise. And this year, I thought, what would Henrik do? And I really, like got to the plate and hit a home run. What did you think of my outfit? As the like fashion king, what do you think? Uh, it is a home run. Mark. I mean, we look kind of similar, you know? Like, this is pretty good. I mean, we... It's it set. looks great. You look great. And this is the way you should roll right now. From, from now on in, this is the way. For those who don't know, Henrik calls me City Marty this year because I've gotten a silly look about myself. So you know, he's out and about restaurants to get the style going. He, he's just 
I don't know what's happening, Mario. You're just, you're just maturing. Hey, three years with you, that's what's happening. Hank, thanks a lot. Thanks, thanks for everything you do for Garden of Dreams. Thank you got a lot of people waiting to take your pictures, so I won't want them to wait. So thanks again. Thanks, Marty. Again, everybody, next year, if you're not here this year, Garden of Dreams, great people. Henrik is an ambassador for it. All the guys are here. You have to show up next year. Again, this is for Baron Jurdo, but much more. It's for Garden of Dreams, the kids, and everybody. So we will see you next time. <laughs>